Reaper, we keep it rough, we keep it raw, we keep it real. Make sure you subscribe to the Reaper because I'm doing good things here at Reaper. Corey Holcomb. Is Corey experiencing financial problems? I know that Corey be on his show, you know, calling everybody broke and he got that paper and he gonna continue to make this paper and, you know, there's a lot of different people, you know, that Corey claims that he pays, you know, when he's out on tour. I mean, allegedly he's paying precise and you know, um, D and, you know, and his manager, I'm pretty sure he gets a cut, and some of the opening acts that he has on tour with him, but is Corey experiencing financial difficulty going on tour with Jeff's Hilarious? That's the question that I want to ask, because Corey was really talking about this woman really bad. You know, I mean, she was a joke thief. People just wanted to fuck her. She was talentless. He even spoke about her taking the picture with her kid. You know, and Corey just called this sister everything and adamantly disliked this sister. You know, I mean, I still think that Corey wanted to sleep with her. And he says all the female com comedians get dicked because they have no talent, most of them, and, you know, people just use them for sexual purposes and put them out there for sexual purposes, but they really have no talent, you know, the Reaper keep it 1,000, you know, and this is what Corey claims, you know, and he was speaking mostly to uh, Jess Hilarious, you know, because he indicated that Jess Niece, now Jess Niece is funny, this is what Corey said, which she is funny, but Corey was saying that in reference to like Jess Hilarious is not funny, you know, she's just got a big following on social media, and you know, uh, this is why people book her in the comedy club venues, because she's got a big following on social media. I think it's like that woman, Amy Schumer, with Monique. So Corey can't be mad at Monique, because Amy Schumer had a big following, and this is why Netflix gave her that money. But Monique is a lot funnier than her. The Reaper Keep It 1000, but they go by the following on social media. And this is what Corey was alluding to, uh, with the sister Jess Hilarious. Now, you know, Jess called him and they squashed it. And my sister Jess Hilarious, he be shouting her out. When, in fact, he got into it with Ryan Davis. This is why Ryan Davis don't come back on Corey's show. And Corey be throwing shots at Ryan Davis. is because Ryan Davis stuck up for Jess Hilarious when Corey was going on his rant about her, you know, not being funny and not having any talent. And why would somebody want to uh, come see Jess Hilarious? And Ryan Davis stuck up for her and some of the female comedians. If you remember when Ryan Davis was on his show and Corey claimed he was caking for women and you caking for these hoes because you know these hoes ain't funny. And Corey went on and on and on. So the question that I'm asking today is... Why is Corey calling Jess Hilarious, his sister Jess Hilarious, and two people can squash it, and he's got humble, and, you know, he's saying that they squashed the beef, when he would never squash a beef with this woman, because he was so adamant week after week after week on his show about her, how unfunny she was, and, you know, she just had a big following, and she was a joke thief, and he was falling out with people like Ryan Davis, who he knew in the game for a long time, for sticking up for her, but now, you know, uh, they're all cool, and it's glad that two big black people can squash a beef, and, you know, see, we can come together and do this, and I can agree with that. But Corey is not the type of person that's apologetic or want to squash, 
you know, a beef where he don't stand on, as he say, what he says. But he also says he'll look the other way for a paycheck. The Reaper keep it 1000 So I'm asking, is Corey having financial difficulty? The reason he's looking the other way on the paycheck on this tour? Because he's came out and said everybody on the tour is homosexuals or cokeheads. And he really don't like nobody on the tour. And he's going to stay in the green room most of the time because he really don't like nobody on the tour. He don't fit in with them. The Reaper keep it 1,000. Is it because Corey feel like they got a big following and, you know, they're making more paper than him or they're staying relevant because they got a big following? Is this directed at just hilarious, you know, and some of the other people that Corey's had a beef with? You know, is it directed because Corey feels like he's further along than them and he's funnier and more talented than them, you know, or is it directed because Corey is having financial difficulty because he spoke about his tax issues and he spoke about also, you know, uh, him and his wife is going through a divorce, you know, the Reaper Keep It 1000. So I'm just asking the question today, is Corey Holcomb having financial difficulty the reason he's looking the other way for a check and the reason he's going on tour with Jess Hilarious because it seems like something is going on more than what meets the eye because Corey is backing down a little bit and not standing on what he said because he's going on tour with a woman that he considers a joke thief and a woman that he adamantly dislikes that they've had words on social media back and forth and somebody that she's not fond of. So I'm asking the question, is Corey Holcomb looking the other way for a paycheck, you know, to go on tour with Jess Hilarious? It's a valid question. I'm, a, I'm interested in your comments. And make sure you subscribe to the Reaper. Reaper, we keep it rough. We keep it raw. We keep it real. Make sure you thumbs it up and you subscribe and share it with a friend. Reaper out. Peace.